Welcome to episode four of Microbrews, my new video series on how to make the best use of a microscope in your home or craft brewery. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to safely and properly use your oil immersion lens. I'm going to assume in this video that you already know how to properly focus on your sample and change magnification. If you're not familiar with these methods, please go to episode three where I cover these topics. For this video, I'm also going to assume that you've properly aligned your condenser, which I will cover in the next video in episode five. I'm also going to assume that you've already focused on your sample using the highest possible magnification air lens that you have, which is likely either a 40x or 60x magnification lens. Practically speaking, objective lenses above 60 times magnification cannot provide meaningful resolution without some help. The issue is the passage of light through the air limits the maximum possible numerical aperture of the lens. This means that if you're working in air, there's a finite limit to the numerical aperture you can get, and it's not enough to resolve objects when using a higher magnification lens. To get around this, we need to place some sort of a material between the sample and the lens that has an optical density higher than air. Some lenses use water, which is a third more dense to light than is air. But that said, water immersion lenses tend to be quite pricey, and they're very much specialized tools for very specific imaging purposes, and they don't really belong in the brewery. For most microbiological uses, scientists prefer oil immersion lenses. Oil has an optical density very close to that of the glass used in the slides and the lenses, which creates ideal imaging conditions uh, for microscopy at high magnification. In addition, oil is 50% denser than air uh, which again gives a much higher potential numerical aperture for viewing your sample. If you do happen to contaminate an air lens with oil, it is critical that you immediately clean that lens. The first thing you want to do is remove your sample from the microscope so that you don't contaminate any of your other lenses, and then turn your contaminated lens to a position where you can easily access it. Then using ideally lens paper, but if not a lotion-free tissue uh, will do, Dab that lens repeatedly until oil no longer comes off the lens, each time using a clean part of that tissue. Once you've cleaned uh, as much oil off as you can with the tissue, wet a Q-tip with isopropyl alcohol and use that to wipe the lens uh, clean of any additional uh, oil and then dry it with the other side of that Q-tip. This will save your lens and prevent you from having to replace what can be a very expensive part of your microscope. The first step to adding oil is to make sure your sample is correctly focused at the highest magnification air lens that you have available. Next, you want to rotate the nose piece so that you're exactly halfway between your oil lens and your high magnification air lens. And you can see that bright spot on the stage, which is the part of the sample that is actually going to be imaged by the lens. So what we want to do is take our objective oil and get a very, very tiny drop and place it right on top of that bright light or that bright point. And the size droplet of oil I added there is actually bordering on too large. It's fine, but you wouldn't want any bigger than that. Now, as a general rule, the second there is oil on your slide, you should never go back to an air lens because that is the number one way that air lenses get contaminated with oil. So the next step, of course, is to rotate that oil lens into place slowly. It should be in focus or very close to in focus because it should be par focal with your other lenses. And so you can now fine tune your focus using the focus knobs. At this point, you should be in focus and using either your stage controls or by very, very carefully moving the slide by hand, you should be able to move around and look at different parts of your sample. Once you're done, you're going to need to clean the lens. To do this, the first thing you want to do is lower the stage to clear your slide from the lens and then remove the slide. Once the slide has been contaminated with oil, you should consider this slide sort of permanently damaged, at least until you give it a thorough cleaning with something like Windex or another sort of glass cleaner. Then, just like before, we want to swing our lens uh, out of position so that we can get good access to it. And we're gonna dab the lens multiple times, taking off as much of that oil as we can. And so you can see 
The first time I dabbed it, a fair amount of oil came off. Uh, the second time, there's just a tiny bit, and after that, we have no more oil. We then want to wet a Q-tip in isopropyl alcohol. Oops, that didn't go. And then using that wet Q-tip, we want to wipe the lens. And every time I wipe, I turn the Q-tip about 45 degrees so that I'm always wiping with a clean part of the Q-tip. Once the lens is cleaned, I'm going to flip from the wet end to the dry end and use that to now remove any residual isopropyl. Again, after every wipe, turning that about 45 degrees so I'm always wiping with a clean part of the Q-tip. So that is how you safely use and care for your oil immersion lens. Please join me in episode 5 for a discussion on how to properly align your microscope's light path to maximize the quality of your images. And then after that, we're actually going to get into stuff related to the brewery.